Hey everyone, yeah, the world is a pretty busy place. In fact, uh, when I checked the latest figures, there were 7,980,487,072 other people on the planet. And with all of these people in the world, many of whom want to broaden their horizons by traveling and seeing new countries, there's a lot of demand for transportation. And people are just one part of the puzzle. We also have to transport food, packages, and raw materials. And so with all that in mind, today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at 15 of the world's busiest transportation hubs. Let's begin. Number 15. Taiwan Taoyuan International Airport As the name would suggest, the Taoyuan International Airport is located in the Taiwanese city of Taoyuan in the Daeyuan District. It opened to the public on February 26, 1979, and it's been welcoming hundreds of thousands of passengers through its doors ever since. Taoyuan International routes both passengers and physical goods, and it's affiliated with a range of airlines, including China Airlines, Mandarin Airlines, EVA Air, and Tiger Air Taiwan. It's also one of the biggest and busiest airports in the Asia-Pacific region, helping to connect east with west. I'm talking about an airport that only welcomed 820,000 passengers in 2021. Now, that might sound like a lot, but that was down 89% due to the COVID-19 pandemic, with it averaging around 45 million passengers in a regular year. It also ships around 2.5 million tons of air freight every year. All of this makes it the busiest airport in Taiwan, but that doesn't mean they skimp on amenities. In fact, Airports Council International ranked it as the best airport for its size in the entirety of Asia-Pacific back in 2016. You won't find a lot of airports like this one, no matter where you go. Number 14. Miami International Airport once known as Wilcox Field, Miami International Airport is a huge airport in Florida that has the capacity to oversee a thousand flights every day, with nearly 200 destinations all over the world, both in the United States and around the world. It's also particularly known for its links to South America. MIA is currently the biggest cargo airport in the United States, as well as the biggest hub for international flights in the country, though it only ranks 10th when you also factor in domestic flights. It welcomes around 17.5 million passengers each year, and it's home to a sprawling complex that covers around 3,300 acres. This airport's also steeped in history, dating all the way back to the 1920s, when Pan Am used the site. National Airlines used to have a terminal on the other side of the airport and had to stop traffic so they could take their airplanes to and from the terminal. It was also temporarily closed down during the Second World War. It's also continuing to grow, with estimates stating that it will process 77 million passengers and 4 million tons of freight each year within 20 years or so. So it's currently undergoing a multi-billion dollar improvement and renovation plan that's going to include two luxury hotels and even fine art displays. Number 13. Incheon International Airport Incheon International Airport, or Seoul Incheon International Airport, is South Korea's biggest airport and one of the biggest overall airports in the world. Like Taoyuan, it's also been celebrated as being one of the world's best, with Skytrax ranking it as the fourth best airport in the world and the best for international transit. It was also given awards for its cleanliness and security. I'm talking about an airport with so much going for it that it's almost a tourist destination in its own right. It's got a golf course, an ice skating rink, a casino, and even a museum that's dedicated to Korean culture. That's on top of its five-star accommodation, of course. As if all that wasn't enough, it's also one of the world's fastest airports when it comes to departure and arrival times, which is no mean feat considering that it's also lauded for its security. You'd think that security like this would mean taking your time when you check in, but that's not the case. Oh, and did I mention that this place is massive? It's got over 110 boarding gates, and it's built on artificial land between two islands that were reclaimed from the sea to make space for it. It opened a little over 20 years ago, but still has the feel of a brand new airport as you stroll around it. Pretty nice. Number 12. Doha Hamad International Airport Doha Hamad International is one of the newest airports on the list, coming into service to replace the old Doha International Airport after its closure in 2014. Owned by the Qatar Civil Aviation Authority and operated by Qatar Airways, you can find this place in, well, Qatar. During the construction, the airport was called the New Doha International Airport, yeah, invented name, huh? But the name was eventually changed to honor Amir Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani. It was supposed to open in 2008, but it didn't actually open until many millions of dollars and six years later. But the delay was worth it, and the airport now sees around 39 million passengers and 170,000 flights a year. It's also an award winner, most notably grabbing Skytrax's title for the world's best airport in 2021 after taking the crown from the Chiang Airport in Singapore. 
Given how new and how expensive it is, it seems only fair, I guess. Doha Hamad also ranks as the 50th busiest airport in the world when it comes to the number of passengers, and that's without us even mentioning goods and other shipments. If you happen to pay it a visit, keep your eyes peeled for Lamp Bear, which is the informal name for an untitled sculpture by Urs Fischer, a 7-meter tall bronze teddy bear on display at the shopping mall. Number 11. Louisville Muhammad Ali International Airport this next airport is named after one of the greatest boxers the world's ever seen, which is perhaps how it managed to fight its way this far up our list. Formerly simply called Louisville International Airport, it's notable not for the 3 million plus passengers that pass through it every year, but for the 6.5 billion pounds of cargo that it handles across more than 150,000 separate flights. It's also interesting for the fact that it's a hybrid airport that serves both the general public and the military, which it's able to do because it covers a whopping 1,500 acres and it's got three different runways. Located in Jefferson County's Louisville in Kentucky, it's made its way into this list despite the fact that it doesn't handle international flights, although it does act as a hub for UPS's international shipments. The sheer weight of cargo that gets transported through this airport means it's the United States' second busiest cargo airport and the fourth busiest in the world, behind Shanghai Pudong, Hong Kong, and Memphis International Airport, the latter of which is home to FedEx's so-called Super Hub. We'll talk about that one a little bit more later on. UPS has named Louisville as a hub since the start of the 1980s, and its current facility spans more than 5 million square feet and can process nearly 7,000 packages every minute. UPS also has invested several billion dollars into expanding and improving its hub, making its presence at the airport a key strategic importance to that company. Number 10. The Port of Shanghai All right, the Port of Shanghai is the first entry on our list that's a deep sea port as opposed to an airport, and that has an impact on the way that we look at it. That's because it's less known for dealing with a large number of passengers, as the airports are, and it's more associated with shifting large amounts of freight. Around 10 years ago, the Port of Shanghai took over from the Port of Singapore to become the world's busiest port when it comes to shipping containers. It's continued to grow ever since, leaving Singapore behind in the dust. In fact, the Port of Shanghai is so insanely big that it's now classified as a large port megacity, thanks to the combination of how much shipping is rooted through it and how many people live and work there. I'm talking about a transportation hub that's so huge there are large towns that are half the size of it. It's also one of the most historic hubs that we're going to talk about today, going back way before the creation of powered flight. Shanghai became an international port during the 1800s, but its growth was slowed significantly during its rise of communism. And it's only within the last generation or two that it's taken its rightful place on lists, just like this one. Number 9. Ted Stevens Anchorage International Airport all right, it's time to head back to the United States and check out another airport, this time in the state of Alaska. Located just a couple of miles away from Anchorage, this airport takes its name from Alaskan U.S. Senator called Ted Stevens, who served his country for over 40 years. The airport was first built at the start of the 1950s and was used by Alaska Airlines and Pacific Northern Airlines, amongst others. It was also used as a refueling stop for services that were flying from North America to the Far East, and one of the runways used to be connected to a nearby National Guard base. It might interest you to know that the airport used to be used as a stopover point back in the day when aircraft didn't have enough range to fly non-stop around the world. The planes couldn't stop in China or the Soviet Union, obviously, and so Anchorage became the go-to stopping point for refueling. That's what led to it developing its nickname of the Crossroads of the World. Number 8. Port of Shenzhen all right, it's time to check out another port, and this one's interesting because the name of the port of Shenzhen actually used to refer to a whole bunch of different ports that all work together in harmony. When taken together, they're one of the largest, busiest, and most rapidly growing ports in the world, mostly specializing in shipping containers. You'll find around 40 different shipping companies with serious presences at the port, and they'll work with hundreds of ships to service about 130 different routes that take them all over the world. There's also a terminal that runs ferry services for passengers. The port of Shenzhen provides links throughout mainland China as well to India and Mediterranean. From there, shipping containers can be transferred throughout the rest of Europe. This combination of shipping container support and passenger ferries help ensure that this port of Shenzhen is one of the world's largest, both when we're talking about freight and when we're talking about passengers. No list like this would be complete without this one. Number 7. Shanghai Pudong International Airport Shanghai Pudong is one of the two huge airports that serve Shanghai, but this is the worthier inclusion on our list, thanks to how it connects Shanghai with the rest of East Asia as well as the rest of the world. 
This huge facility sprawls across 10,000 acres beside the coast, and it's only 20 miles or so away from the city center. It makes it perfect for both freight and human transportation, which is why it's used as a hub by major airlines like China Eastern Airlines, Air China, and Shanghai Airlines. It's also home to the largest express hub in Asia, which is owned by DHL, FedEx, and UPS, who also use Pudong. This huge, sprawling airport has an insane capacity. With the ability to transport 80 million passengers and 6 million tons of freight every year through its three terminals and four runways, that is one of the reasons why it's the third busiest airport in the world by cargo traffic, as well as China's third busiest when it comes to passenger transport. It's also associated with cross-border travel, with over 35 million international travelers in a typical year, though the COVID-19 pandemic had understandably a huge impact on that. It currently works with over 100 airlines and supplies flights to more than 200 destinations around the world. Number 6. Port of Busan Busan is a seaport that's the largest in South Korea, as well as the sixth busiest in the world when it comes to shipping containers. As with many of these ports that we're going to talk about today, Busan was established back in the 1800s when it served as a trading link between China, Korea, and Japan. Because of its longevity, the port of Busan has also secured its place in history, particularly during the Korean War during the 1950s. It was one of the few places in the South that North Korea didn't attempt to invade, and so the port ended up playing a vital part in the war effort, bringing in raw materials and accommodating refugees. By the start of the 21st century, the port of Busan was the world's fifth largest container port and half the region's manufacturing jobs built around export. It continues to link China, Korea, and Japan, and now also serves Singapore and Hong Kong, as well as the rest of the world. As for what the port handles, it's predominantly known for raw materials like fertilizer, meat, metal, gasoline, coal, leather, metal ores, wood, and sugar. It's also a sister port of the Port of Southampton in the UK, the Port of Seattle in the United States, the Port of Rotterdam in the Netherlands, and the Port of Shanghai in China, amongst others. Number 5. Memphis International Airport Memphis International Airport can be found in Memphis, Tennessee, and is another one of those interesting airports that serves both the military and the general public. It's able to do that because the fact that it has four different runways and it covers nearly 4,000 acres. It's not just the human passengers that make this one worth a mention on this list, because it's also home to FedEx's Super Hub, as well as processing parcels for delivery throughout the country and the globe. It also offers nonstop shipping to North America, Asia, Europe, South America, and the Middle East. For a while, towards the end of the last millennium, Memphis International Airport dealt with more cargo than anywhere in the world, a title that it regained in 2020 due to the boom in online shopping that occurred when the coronavirus pandemic happened. And then there are the passenger flights, with nearly 100 of them taking off from the airport every day. It's recently undergone a modernization project and works with carriers and destinations from all over the world. Number 4. Los Angeles International Airport Okay, it probably won't surprise you to learn that Los Angeles International Airport, or LAX, is one of the biggest and busiest airports in the world. There's also a huge amount of demand for its flights, given that it's the main airport serving LA and the surrounding parts of California. All right, so let's get to some of the facts and stats. LAX has four runways and covers about 3,500 acres, with around 90 million passengers a year before the pandemic. It's the busiest airport in the United States' West Coast, and thus handles a large amount of international travel and ranks as the world's third busiest airport. Also, LAX is one of the busiest origin and destination airports, which essentially means that people either start or end their journeys there. The airports that are busier than it are only so busy because a bunch of connecting flights pass through them. It's also one of the U.S.'s oldest major airports, with it first opening in October of 1928. Some of the original buildings are still in place there, with Hangar No. 1 appearing on the National Register of Historic Places. Oh, and the X in its name has no specific meaning other than a three-letter identifier is required for airports, and so LA wasn't long enough. Number 3. Hong Kong International Airport Hong Kong International first opened to the public in 1998, and so it is kind of one of the youngest transportation hubs to feature on this list. The fact that it comes in at number 3 shows just how important Hong Kong is for global travel and cargo shipments. As with many of the other airports on this list, it struggled its way through a huge reduction in passengers during the COVID-19 pandemic, and yet it was still able to shift over 4.5 million metric tons of cargo. In fact, it's the world's busiest cargo gateway. Perhaps the most interesting thing about Hong Kong Airport, which is also sometimes called the Cheklap Kok Airport, is that it's built on reclaimed land. 
Space is at a premium in the area, and so it was the only way for the locals to find enough space to build the thing without losing out on housing. I'm talking about an airport where everything is done big, which is why it employs 65,000 people and has one of the world's largest passenger terminal buildings. It's the eighth busiest airport by passenger count and is the airport that's been fighting with Memphis for the title of busiest airport by cargo traffic. Number 2. Port of Singapore The Port of Singapore is the jewel of the Far East and the big daddy of the ports in the Asia-Pacific region. It was first built way back in the early 1800s, back when Singapore was a key part of the British Empire and is now the name for a bunch of different terminals that all work together in harmony. In fact, this harbor is so big that it's the second busiest in the world in terms of how much weight it ships, as well as the official maritime capital of the world. It's said that a third of the world's shipping containers and half of its crude oil pass through the port of Singapore at some point during their journey. And it's not as though the port of Singapore came out of nowhere and stormed the rankings, because it's been a key strategic shipping point for over a century. It's also vital for the country itself, allowing them to import raw materials and create a thriving export market. The result is a sprawling port that's big with a capital B. Interestingly, it's also full of high-tech equipment too, and the port is currently investing heavily in automation and even self-driving technology so it can maintain its place as the world's leading seaport. Number 1. Shinjuku Station All right, the last entry on our list is also the first train station, but I'm not talking about just any railway station here. I'm talking about the world's busiest, a commuter hub in the middle of Tokyo that welcomes over 3.5 million people every day. This means that it's the world's busiest station by a huge margin, with the equivalent of almost the entire population of Los Angeles passing through the station every day. Yeah, as you can imagine, it's a pretty hefty amount of infrastructure to support all those passengers, with 35 platforms and over 200 different exits. Because so many people pass through at this station has become a destination in its own right, especially because a ton of retailers, malls, and department stores have been built right into the station. I'm talking about a place that people go for work, leisure, and both for travel and shopping. And so I guess it's no wonder that the place is so busy, and it's definitely worthy of a spot on our list. It moves the equivalent of yearly traffic of the world's busiest passenger airport every three weeks. And all you need to do is look at the photos to see how hectic it can be there. I'll see you tomorrow. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.